keep wanting to stop but you can't stop I warn you if you're going to have a try at this make sure you've got time on your hands hello I have got a goodie box from the art shop hopefully it's going to be something to help me with this the next steps of this painting and this painting Look at this great big box <laughs> that uh for one small little well, I'm really excited though Ah, a gel press. So I've been waiting for this to try out to make some collage papers to put onto these two paintings. Let's experiment. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get one of these because when I did my art degree in England I specialised in printmaking <laughs> so I did very painterly mono prints so and I've been wanting one of these for ooh put that to one side I guess it's a good case to keep it in so you've got this protective. Ooh. I guess you take the two bits off. Oh, maybe there's some instructions. Do I, yeah, it said take this off, so. Oh, it's really weird, you feel as if you're gonna tear it. So after reading the instructions I went off and had this piece of glass that I just put some masking tape around the edges to you know protect from sharp edges. So I've got my gel plate plate I now I can just keep that. I mean, you could use Perspect as well. It'd probably be better Perspect because it's less fragile. So what next? I really am. This is really, really, really the first time that I am trying this. So bear with me. Prepared some tissue paper. Couldn't get any white, but I found this chance finds. So it's got like little glittery bits in it. They didn't have any plain white. They just had this off well a kind of a creamy colour so I've got that in tissue paper I've got these like pieces of I don't think they're tracing paper or maybe so we'll give that a test different sorts oh a chocolate I'll have that later <laughs> I've got different rollers this is one from years and years ago that I used to always use in my printmaking it's a rubber one so that's a good one these are the ones I foam patterned ones. Got some stencils, got a scraper, got a couple of paint brushes, palette, and something to roll off my excess oh, ink. I'm ready to go. One of my fave colours to start. Here goes. Exciting. You all know how I like working in layers, so what shall I do on it? Not sure. I don't want to try some different techniques. Uh, I'll try just painting in it. I don't know, swirly whirlies. Let me try a stencil. Maybe I'll do that. I'm just experimenting. Put some paper on. I 
let me know if you've tried this out let me know if you if you've mastered it and you've got some ideas and technique ideas so here you go first time oh okay I'll leave that there and maybe go back over it and I've heard people talking about these ghost prints so that is the second or I don't know how many layers you can get off that but I'm going to try that now like I said absolutely no expert in printmaking yes but with this and it's ages since I've done any monoprint printing anyway. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. What shall we try next? Whoops, <laughs> I've got too much on. So, excess off. I think I've put too much on there this time. I don't think you need very much. I went a bit mad there. Once I've mastered this I will make another video. <laughs> I will make another video and show you what I've learned. Oh let's try this. Oh I like that. I'm not going to press very hard because I put a lot of paint on. My instinct is telling me not to. Not bad, not bad. For the minute, these ones are working better. These papers. Have I tried one of these yet? No, I haven't tried one of one of these. I'm just using cheap paints for for this experimentation. Well, that's torn a little bit. Ah, so that's better. You probably can't see. I'm going to put black, then you'll be able to probably see better on the camera. Not much this time. I've still got lots of that lilac left on there. Oh, this could be interesting. Some little glittery bits have come out of the tissue paper. I'm sure I'll get lots of comments <laughs> saying that I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> I just like to dive in there. I'm so excited to try it out that but well why not make a video at the same time and then anybody else who's wanting to try it out maybe it'll give them the initiative to do it you know just got to dive in there and learn from your mistakes I'm not trying to create a work of art I'm just making some papers to tear up stick on my other paintings that may become works of art. I'm just playing, enjoying, experimenting and I'll just keep trying. And this is the very first time. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, not bad. I'm running out of space. Take that off. And what should I do? Put it on that. It's 
quite fragile this paper so Using all my favourite colours. That excess black off. over something. Let's try going over that. I can see how you could easily get addicted to this. It's really playful. I mean these I'm going to tear out anyway. So some nice effects going on there which would look nice on the paintings. Don't know if there's anything left there. Just going to try. Oh no, what's happened to my chocolate? Let me know if, I'm, if you think you're experts out there, if I'm putting too much paint on. Shall we try this time? Just some little marks. my favourite. Whoops. Not bad. I'm making a big mess. Might as well see if I can make something of that. Ah, sticking. I don't mind because I'm going to be tearing it up anyway. And quite like that. What I really like about it is that it cleans the plate each time. <laughs> I have seen some videos where they leave things on for a long time and let the paint almost dry. Let me... Did I use this for anything? I can't remember. Oh, 
Ooh, some nice marks going on there. I'll go over with a little bit of black on that. So anyway, this is just a first play around. If you've got a jelly plate tucked away that you bought ages ago and you've been waiting to try, then just try it. here with all the papers. I want to try something over that. I'll do this and then I'll probably stop because for this video otherwise it would be really really long. And if I don't really know what I'm doing it may not be very interested. <laughs> try this see if I can get this because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try some leaves and flowers and things on um, on this after but probably not for this video because like I said it's getting quite long a little bit of blue Maybe this video will be what not to do with a jelly plate. <laughs> I'll leave it on. Oh, I'll leave it on. See if I can get another one. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And now I'll take it off and put it on. There's a rubbishy one that I did. I'll try that. Mm. 
I'll try that. Would I get another one off or not? So this is it. I keep wanting to stop, but you can't stop. I warn you if you're going to have a try at this, make sure you've got time on your hands. Oh no, that one didn't work. But at least it's clean my plate. The instructions say that you can clean it off with soapy water, with baby wipes, with baby oil or hand sanitizer. So I will go and do that and come back and look at the prints. So just in that quick session, very first session of gel, pr gel plate printing, here's a few pieces of collage paper, that's what it is, it's just collage paper that I'm going to tear up into probably small pieces like this and stick, oh, let's have a try, let's have a look, get one of my paintings and just have a look, see how they could work, why not, already. I'm not making any decisions yet, just having a quick look. So you get the idea. How you can use these then, which is my main interest in this jelly print method. is to make my own collage paper, so I don't know, maybe I'll get hooked onto it and learn new techniques and do other things. But for now, that was my idea behind testing it out. But anyway, lots more experimenting to do. Um, I hope maybe if you've got your jelly plate stashed away somewhere and you've been wanting to try, then just get it out and just go for it. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, I'll end it for now. And I'll see you next time, ready to put some of these papers onto the paintings. Just testing some out on the other canvas that I started at the same time as the other one. I'll put the link down below of the video if you missed that one, lots of layering and this is all part of the process of adding these collage papers as another layer, as another form of depth and interest and then I will be working them out on them again. So I'm thinking that I could tear some of these up and use them in these two paintings and maybe I'll show you in the next video. For now, bye bye, see you next time. Au revoir.